What's up guys, it's Carter from Clarity Auto Details and welcome to a new series that we're starting on the channel called 5 Tip Tuesday. So, the whole point of this series is to give you a quick, short video with 5 tips on a certain aspect of detailing. We're kicking it off with 5 tips on how to wash your car. Now, as you can see, I just washed this car and I'm going to give you 5 tips on how to make it a better experience and a more safe experience. So. Tip number one, wash at the right time of day. As you can tell, it was a sunny day. However, the sun is setting. It's, a, it's past the houses to my, to my left right now. And so the car is shaded right now. That's gonna be one of the most important things is because you don't wanna wash in direct sunlight. Reason being, you can have products dry on the paint that can uh, leave residue, permanently stain things, streak, or even worse, you can have just regular hard water that dries on the paint and you can leave hard water spots which generally are going to have to be polished out of the paint. That's no fun for a do-it-yourselfer and it's no fun if you don't know how to do it and you have to pay somebody to do it. So just pick the right time of day or the right day even. If it's an overcast day, go right ahead. If it's winter time, you can wash in the middle of the day in the winter time. But when it's in July like it is right now, you're going to want to wash in the morning or in the very, very, very late afternoon when the sun's starting to set. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is going to be to wash your wheels first. The first thing you want to do when you wash your car is wash your wheels because when you're washing your wheels, you're going to be getting the paint wet, which is not fun when you've already washed the car and then you've dried the paint off because you don't want water spots, right? You don't want the water drying on there. And then you go to wash your wheels, you're rinsing your wheels, and then the paint's wet. That's no fun. So to avoid that, you're gonna wanna wash your wheels first. Now while I'm on this subject, do we use a wheel-only bucket so that you're not contaminating your wash bucket with brake dust, which is basically just tiny little flakes of metal. You don't wanna be rubbing that on the paint. So use a separate bucket to avoid contaminating your wash media. Tip number three. Use a dedicated auto soap, an automotive shampoo that's meant for paint. I cannot stress this enough. You want to use something like these two products that I have right here, even something that you can get at your local AutoZone or Walmart. It's going to be better than Dawn, but if you really want a good soap, we've got Epic Prep Wash from Malco, and we've got Pearl Auto Shampoo from PNS. This is gonna be a great maintenance product. This is what you're gonna be washing your car with every week. This is a great product for when you're trying to strip an old wax um, and prepare it for a new wax. So this is gonna be you know, your every couple months kind of car wash soap. This is gonna be your everyday kind of car wash soap. Well, nobody washes their car every day. Maybe you do, I don't know. But this is gonna be the car wash soap that you maintain with when you're waiting for a new wax. So. The reason you need a dedicated car wash soap is lubrication. That's a big one. You want the right amount of lubrication. And to do that, you need a dedicated car wash soap that's meant, that's got all that lubrication in it. Another thing is you want it to be wax safe. Um, one thing about regular dishwashing detergents is they're meant to break down lipids. Uh, lipids, there's waxes are basically just lipids that you put on your paint. Uh, you don't know what a lipid is, it's fat, okay? They're meant to break down lipids because that's what's in your dishes. You're getting fat from the steak that you're cooking in that pan or from the hamburgers that you're cooking or whatever else you're cooking in a pan, you'll need a soap that's gonna break down those lipids. So you don't want to use that same soap on your paint because then you're gonna be stripping the wax every time you wash your car, which isn't good. Plus, you're not getting any lubrication. So use dedicated car washing soap. Tip number four is this little guy right here. This is called a grit guard. And what it does is it keeps you from scratching your car if you're a stupid person. No, I'm just kidding. It keeps everybody from scratching their car um, and there's nothing you can do to avoid getting dirt in your wash mitt. Uh, but this certainly, certainly helps and it does a lot. So the way it works is it sits down in the bottom of your bucket just like this and it's got these fins so that when you stick your wash mitt in and you're rubbing it around the bucket, right? Rinsing it. That way you're not twirling the water, creating a vortex at the bottom that's gonna kick the dirt back up to the top of the bucket. Cause naturally the dirt falls down to the bottom. That's just how gravity works, you know? 
So naturally the dirt's gonna fall to the bottom and then you get these fins that's gonna keep it from being able to spiral and kick up. Then you get this grate at the top that keeps you from putting your mitt all the way down to the bottom of the bucket or if you have extra mitts in the bucket, it's gonna leave those, keep those from sinking all the way down and picking up all that dirt that's on the bottom of the bucket. So use a grate guard, it's gonna keep you from grinding more dirt right back into the paint, causing swirl marks. The fifth and final tip I have for you guys when you're washing your car is use premium microfiber towels, especially when drying. A lot of people love to just use an old bath towel when drying, but if it's not soft enough for your skin, it sure isn't soft enough for your paint. And that's, that's one thing that I really, really want to stress. You don't want to use an old bath towel. Um, and when you're using even, even microfiber that you get from the store, like from Walmart or Costco or AutoZone or O'Reilly, even that's not good enough. You want a real microfiber towel, okay? So bath towel, old bath towel, for, for common sense reasons, don't use it. It's not meant for your paint. However, microfiber, use a good microfiber towel, okay? There's two components to microfiber, polyester and polyamide, okay? Polyester is gonna be the main component uh, that's gonna make up most of the towel. Polyamide is gonna be where it gets its absorbency, some of its softness, and more polyamide generally just makes a more safe and more usable towel, okay? Most of the towels that you're gonna find are gonna be a 90% to 10% blend. That means 90% polyester, 10% polyamide. That's not good. This towel that I'm holding right here is one of the most absorbent towels out there and it's a 70% to 30% blend. That means 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. It also happens to be a twisted loop weave, which means it's got all these little twisted loops. If you look in closely, you can see all these little twisted loops and that just helps with the absorbency. This is a fantastic drying towel. It's called the Twist and Shout. You can get it at the Rab Company. Save yourself 15% off and use coupon code CLARITY15. You can use that once on your first order of premium microfiber from the Rab Company. So. Anyway, use quality microfiber, okay? No matter what you're doing, you need a good towel and the towels from the store or your old bath towels, they're just not cutting it and they are more than likely gonna be scratching your paint. And if they don't scratch your paint, they're gonna last one to two washes and they're gonna start falling apart because the edges aren't constructed well or whatever else. So, high quality microfiber, that's my fifth tip. Well, I hope you guys liked watching this video. I hope you learned something today, and I hope you like this new series. Comment down below um, your thoughts and opinions if you want to see more of these. I plan to start doing them every single week of Five Tip Tuesday, every single week with new different areas of detailing. So stay tuned for that if you want a new kind of a new area of detailing, a new type of detailing, whatever, whatever. Comment down below and let me know uh, what kind of a 5 Tip Tuesday video you'd want to see. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.